Thursday. <laughs> wow. I don't. Go with me, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good afternoon. It is Monday, March 25th at 3.30 p.m. I'd like to call to order this meeting of the Board of Library Trustees. Um, the first order of business is the prior meeting minutes, which Joanne prepared. Um, I took a minute to look through them, uh, and I didn't see anything that didn't uh, agree with what I thought we went over. Does anyone have any questions or comments about the minutes? Mm -hmm. Um, that is, uh, Just to make sure I got the uh, library closure dates correct. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yep. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as prepared. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so the minutes are approved. <coughs> Oh, did you find something? Just, she's got an old thing under next meeting agenda items, review and vote on the 1718 annual report, which we did like. Oh, oh okay. So just okay. That out. Okay. That's all. Sorry. All right. That's fine. All right. Um, with that, we'll go to Shannon for the youth services report. Hi. Hi. Um, we just had some webinars. Okay. About life and a meeting about overdrive. Great. Nothing too crazy. Um, the Blackstone Valley Children's Librarians have steadily started just having a meeting once a month. We met today. Not all of us, but a portion of us. So that's a okay. thing that I'll be doing more often. Just Great. getting together and chatting about programs and who gets the best deal on programmers. <laughs> yeah, groupiness. But um, so in February, we had 18 children's programs. We had 171 people in attendance. We've got our spring story times rolling right around um, on Wednesday and Thursdays, 1030. We'll keep that up until May 23rd. Um, same for baby story times on Tuesdays at 1030. OK, in your report it says 521 for baby story time should I change that or um 521 is the last Tuesday in May that we'll be having that okay so yeah the t Tuesday third I mean Wednesday Thursday one goes until May 23rd which is the last Thursday and then that week oh okay does that make sense yep mm -hmm. okay sorry if that didn't make sense I apologize um, upcoming story times at the bank will be April 8th and April 22nd. We're having um, Kidding Around Yoga with Nicole. The child session will be at 5.30 this Thursday. That, I believe, is full. However, we do have the um, tween session, which is for ages 8 to 12. Also on Thursday, but it's at 6.15, unlike what the bottom of this paper says. Okay. So 6.15, not 5.30. Yeah, no. Sorry, 6.15. Okay. I can just adjust that. Okay. Sorry There's room it. in that one. There mm -hmm. is room in that one, yes. Okay. Um, we have Deb Hudgens coming Monday, April the 1st, 10.30. That's drop-in. Uh, we had a, a very good turnout for our um, Minecraft fan club meeting. Mm -hmm. It was actually very funny to get all of them all in one room. Um, <laughs> and so they decided that we should do it again. And so we will be doing it April 3rd, which is a Wednesday at 3.30, ages 5 and up. And it's just for anyone who likes Minecraft. We won't actually play Minecraft. I don't have the computers or the servers for that. Um, but we talk about it, and we'll probably do something crafty. Nice. So have at it. Um, our next free movie Friday will be April the 12th at 4. We're going to watch Hop just in time for Easter. Uh, our You and Me book club meeting is meeting April the 18th, 18th? No, 17th, 17th. I'm bad at numbers, guys. The 17th. <laughs> <laughs> we 
What book are you reading for the You and Me book club right now? Payback on Popular Lane. Pay, okay, Payback on Popular Lane. I think Payback on that. Popular Lane. No, it's popular. It's not popular. I keep calling it popular, though. It's a different thing. <laughs> it would make more contact sense if it was popular lane, though. <laughs> but popular is a tree, and popular is what you would well, like it, to be. I, I know, which is why I want it to be popular lane. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay. People get into fights when they want to be popular. All right, anyway. Um, I'm just lying all over the place. Liar, liar. Um, <laughs> Crafter Noon will be Wednesday, April 18th. Um, which is secretly a 17th. I don't know why, for some reason, I keep thinking Wednesday is the 18th. Going insane. And that means that Friday is the... 18th. The no, 19th. 19th. That one's right. Yeah. Okay, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, see? Right. See? Lying liar pants. And then we'll have a special story time on Friday during vacation. Um, we'll have a hoppy story time all about bunnies. Okay. We don't normally do story times on Friday, so it should be fun to see if that's a good day for people. But we've got the babysitter class Tuesday and Thursday. That's why the afternoons are on odd days and why there's no story time that week. Plus, we don't normally mm -hmm. do story time during vacation. Yeah, we don't normally do story time. It's, it's February or April vacation. April vacation. It's April vacation, yeah. Sorry, so. I should have pointed that out. I'm busy being a liar, liar pants. Um, okay, so we have Lego Club tomorrow and then April 11th and then April 3rd. 30th, which are the normal times at 4, and then we'll have a 1 at 11 on Thursday, April 18th. I got that one right. <laughs> <laughs> at 11 a.m. And again, it's early in the morning because of the babysitter's training group. Mm -hmm. um, and that brings us into teens. We had two teen programs in February. We had eight people in attendance. We were very proud. Um, the Tinker Tuesday was canceled due to snow. Mm. So we already talked about yoga for the tweens, which is still open, and at 6.15, not 5.30. We have a tag meeting April 4th, Thursday at 3. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Bon Appetit, which is our tween and teen cooking group, Saturday, April 6th. I got that one right, yay me. Um, the tweens, so 10 to 13, are at 11. The teens, 14 to 18, are at noon. Last month's went really, or this month's went really well, so I'll be really excited about that one. This one um, in April is uh, Be Quick with Bisquick, so we'll mm -hmm. make pancakes and waffles and biscuits, probably. All the carbs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably have some fruit, too, just put, put on top. It'll be fun, but we'll make that. And um, Tinker Tuesday will be coming up. April 16th, so during vacation. That is at 11.30. Um, again, that is to accommodate the babysitter's training course, which is full at 12 right. with a waiting list. Um, and that is a 10-hour course broken over two days, so it's from 1 to 5. It should be really good. That's all eight hours. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. <laughs> 10. Math is not my strong point. <laughs> Math is hard. I'm uh, sorry. It's been a long day. I apologize. Um, it, it, it has. We'll have another Don't Buy DIY April the 23rd. I'm just going to look at this from now on. April the 23rd. Um, for teens, which is 12 to 18, is at 4. For the adults, which is 18 plus, will be at 630. Uh, we're doing macrame. Oh, fun. You know, make your own hanging plant holder. Very exciting. It comes with a plant. Try it out. Um, and then adulting in 60 minutes will be Monday, April 29th at 4, and we will be covering the engrossing concept of laundry. So before you go off to college or your first apartment and you're like, hey, do I wash this? Do I iron this? Do I hang dry this? Come, we'll discuss. There we go. What do all those symbols mean? Did I send you, you that? You did, and I love it so much. <laughs> okay, I did send it to you, right? I, uh, that's good. Uh, my um, two best friends were like, you need to print that out for me and hand, give it to me because we don't know what those symbols mean. I'm like, I got you. I'll send it to you. All those funny little yeah, like, icons. I have it on a magnet yeah. right on my, my uh, washer. <laughs> Oh, so set it to cold, put in the soap, and let go. And don't worry about it. If you wash it all in cold, you won't shrink it. 
and some things won't get completely clean. Yeah. Okay. That's any, what the dryer's for. It sterilizes mm -hmm. it. Any questions? Because <laughs> I've clearly done things silly <laughs> in this report. What's up? <laughs> We've learned a lot about you in this report, lot, Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Numbers. There's You're much more of a letter-based person. Well, and we, we have it all there. recorded for <laughs> posterity. We could, get you, we could get you a course in Easy Math Made Easy. No. no. I think she just needs uh, probably more sp space so she could actually have her calendar next to her <laughs> while she's typing her report. I need to learn to proofread. That's or more vitamin D it. from the sun. Ooh. <laughs> Hear that? We're getting a window, guys. <laughs> Good. All right. Any other questions for Shannon? No? All right. Yeah. How about Betsy? You ready to report it up? <laughs> You're going to look amazing after this. I have a lot of dates in there, so I should be solid. <laughs> I have all those dates of all the wonderful meetings and webinars I did, which were thrilling. I sent you guys that fundraising one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Which was pretty good. Um, what else? Mm. The usuals talk more about some of the ones on when I get to the bottom. Um, we had really great turnouts for our programs this month. Um, book groups got a great turnout. Shannon did the um, bath scrubs last week for me, because that's part of her grant. And she had like 13, 12 adults? A lot of adults. adults. So that's great. And I've got a full um, sign up for string art tomorrow night. Nice. So that's exciting. And probably half a dozen people sign up for Friday morning, too. So. People, they love the crafts. Um, what else? So, so far for summer, we're just about, I think, where we need to be on guests and things. So I've got a talk on the history of the Quabbin, Sherlock Holmes, beekeeping, and then a gratitude journal slash art of stress relief program. So it's like a wide gamut of things. Mm -hmm. I, so I just have to figure out what I want to make for crafts and maybe do a cooking thing. And I think that'll be good because then Shannon's got the DIY ones too for adults. Mm -hmm. And then we've got book clubs and writing groups and we're out of evenings, frankly. Mm -hmm. Lisa Shea um, got a cultural council grant to run her writing series workshop here. And so that's four Tuesday nights that runs from the end of May through June. So that essentially fills up like a whole month's worth of Tuesdays. That's such a good problem to have though, mm -hmm. to have so many programs who've run out of nights. Yeah. We've talked briefly about maybe next July, figuring out how we can rejigger so we can be open an extra night. I think that's our next big step, mm -hmm. is to mm -hmm. try to get open till 8 on Wednesday. Okay. It shouldn't cost that much. We just have to figure out who would do it and how we rejigger our schedules, how many extra <coughs> hours we'd need, theoretically. So probably like three or four grand a year? Not even. I wouldn't even think. Four hours a week times, say conservatively, 30. Because you have two employees. Because you'd have two employees times 52. What is that? I mean, was going to calculate. And we established that we're not good with numbers. So what did you? 120 times 52. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I lost my track. 120. That probably wouldn't be bad. That's probably even high because if we rejiggered uh, 120 times 52, Two yeah, yeah, no, oh, no, weeks. that seems high. So 120, so it'd be two oh, more hours right. times so 60 times 52. Like if you do like fifteen dollar fifteen dollar an hour per employee, that's thirty. Yeah, for one employee for that two hours, so 60 times 52. 52. Okay is three thousand one hundred twenty dollars yeah and like i said if we rejiggered say so somebody came in later mm -hmm. it would probably be mm -hmm. even less you know just shifting around okay yeah gotcha but that so makes that's like that's like a back of the envelope three three thousand to not with our math skills here but you know yeah you know, but right. to have a whole additional night available that for would be program. fantastic and that would be two employees oh yeah you'd have we have to yeah. yeah that's what i'm thinking yeah but just because there's just no time yeah it's no. terrible right. um, yeah again it's a great problem to have that I mean really it's it's less than 
two percent of our budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't even think it would be a terrible ask for this year. That's too late. Is it too late? Yeah, I passed the budget in January. So that's true. I know. Can we do an amendment? Plus, I have to figure out who would yeah. stay. Right. So and that's. Okay. Let's see about who for next year, then. Yeah. Let's definitely do that. But yeah, it's not that big of asking him. I'd like to do Wednesday because then you've got that nice chunk at the middle of the week where everybody knows you're open until 8 because I cannot stand the people who are open at 5 or 6 or 4. And yeah, no. I like the consistency <laughs> that we have so far. Um, no, I think that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Well, no, that was my diversion. because <laughs> No, that's fine. So, so um so our summer concert lineup is booked. So we got five in a row there, mm -hmm. um, all family friendly. Some more kid focused than others, but mm -hmm. actually the only one that's really kid focused would be Toe Jam, probably. Yeah, yeah. everyone enjoys mm -hmm. jumping dogs. I mean, right? Um, I know I do. Yeah. So the Flying High Dogs is not a band. It is actually a dog. It is actually mm -hmm. Flying High Dogs. Just, yes. Yeah. Dogs doing really cool tricks. Dogs doing tricks. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Followed by kids doing tricks, possibly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then Bar for Meet and then the Cultural Council um, had granted this David Maloof some money, and then they said that we could have a okay. choice of program, and he cho I chose Beatles because mm -hmm. it looked Love fun. It. Okay. Coincidentally, I think they also are having a Beatles concert that week on like Thursday, so it's gonna be super Beatles week in Sutton. But that's awesome if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. So. Did you um, talk? to Bridget or do you need me to I do emailed that? her so you, you emailed might her nudge her I'll nudge her okay that's all yeah okay. I still had her email from last year so okay it's been a little crazy yeah and I figured it's still plenty March of time it's like <laughs> months away yeah March is a little nutty <clears throat> so yeah I wasn't worried about it <laughs> but okay that's it so they're all taken care of friends met I don't know last week the week before uh, if you want some of those mugs, grab them fast. There's like maybe 12 left. So, but they already reordered more because there's a long turnaround time on those stoneware mm -hmm. mugs. But Next which, time you'll have gorgeous. to bring one in to yeah. show us. Oh, yeah, it's cute. You can see it when you come downstairs. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's cute. It's not that tall, um, but it's very sturdy. So there's that. Um, and they're down to maybe six or ten blankets. But they re I think they're reordering more of those, too. The yeah. blankets are beautiful. So. Yeah. Those were a hit. Yeah. So they're hoping, you know, especially like Mother's Day, Father's Day, and mm -hmm. then the Strawberry Festival, 4th of July, that those are kind of big things to pull people in to buy stuff. Um, we figured June 10th, which is a Monday for our staff day, mm -hmm. um, we're going to start summer reading the following Monday because um, theoretically the kids should be out of school sometime the week of the 10th, either the 11th or the 12th. I don't know. So currently it's the 11th if we have no more dismiss like snow days. Wow. So, yeah. So that'll be good. You had to say no more snow days. If. I just am being clear. Hey, come on. It's going to be 70 on Saturday. But wow. you never know. It's New England, I know. It just snowed on Saturday, so there you go. Um, so that's, yeah, we figured that was a good day. So what's the date of the beginning of summer reading? Monday, the 17th of June. So we already have a fair amount. We both did our prize letters, and we have a fair amount of prizes rolling in, so that's good, hmm. in addition to all the stuff that we've been stockpiling since last summer. Um, MLA is coming up at the end of May, mm -hmm. um, and they have a fairly comprehensive agenda out, so I sent that to everybody last week to see when they want to go, and we'll see when they want to go and what we can afford, because it's not cheap. So, I have a crazy question I just thought of, because we just, we have these, like, iPads and things now, right? What if during like the Strawberry Festival or during any other events on the Common, well, or especially the Strawberry Festival, we had a library set up out there with some iPads that people could sign up for summer reading on those. Could we do Or even like that? sign up for library cards uh, or library. everything. No, our iPads don't have data. They'd have to be. So we could set up a hotspot. Yeah. 
Put them in Wi-Fi range or set up a hotspot. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's just a thought. Yeah, if we tried to use somebody's phone mm-hmm. for a hotspot. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't figured out who's going to be working. At least the Strawberry Festival is like during the day. Right. The 4th of July celebration, I don't think they have a definite time yet. Okay. But I was just thinking during the Strawberry, that might be a good thing to do, just to help people with, or, you know, get, like I said, you know, summer reading or get a library card or just so we can be more like hands on, not just. And there's no way to, you know, take it all down on paper and put it in afterwards with data entry, right? There is, we can. can. Mm-hmm. Okay, for a library, a could we could, but for the summer reading, they need to establish a password so you yeah. can right. log in and. Um, this year, you can download an app and then do everything from the app. Oh, wow. For the summer reading thing. Oh. That's ours exciting. isn't live yet, so I have the app, but it's not functional, mostly because ours isn't live yet. It's still in a s- sandbox mode, but. Okay. It should that's be exciting, up though. by the middle of April. Mm-hmm. So that's also an option. Okay. You put the table next to the friends, so we're all set. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> we will ponder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe kind of do like a, a little bit of have the information about how to use overdrive available things like that just some things that are more kind of technology focused a little bit might be good kind of interesting okay all right so that was that mla and i didn't write on here because i did this before friday which i wasn't thinking about shannon had done that overdrive training friday morning in fitchburg jamie and pam went Southbridge and did it in the afternoon and then Jamie stayed for round tables after but I didn't have a chance to talk to her to see how those go I assume they went well that she learned something so a little bit of staff training this month and other things I don't know if anybody else watched that which one did I send out that was like 10 minutes it was the mango one oh the mango one mango had an update but that's fine Mm -hmm. it's fine it was I wouldn't have called it a webinar I would have called it an online demonstration but that's that okay um, Shannon and I met with Shelly Pizzata, who's our MBLC grant consultant. She came to see us, which was nice. We went over our first draft, uh, revised and resubmitted our second draft. So hoping we get some comments from her before we have to have it in, which is... Is this the STEM one? Yeah. Okay. Not written in here at some point. I think it's like the f- f- end of next. I don't know when it is. It's soonish. One would have thought I wrote it down. Did you write it down? You're so cute. Did I write it? Anyway, just because we have to have you sign it before we can submit it, so. Mm-hmm. so I didn't write that down. Okay. I want to say it was the seventh, but it can't be because that's a Sunday, so. Yeah. Who knows? Soonish. But anyway, it's mostly done, so that's we're not too worried about that. Um, and then pers- related to some of the virtual meetings that I did up above. No, just the one, apparently. Um, Next week, I have to go to an in-person meeting. I'm representing CWMARS. So we are a SLIN recipient, which is Small Libraries and Networks. We've, I think, probably always been a SLIN recipient since we joined CWMARS. Um, Mm -hmm. Which, and we don't ever see that money. It goes straight to CWMARS, and they take it off our assessment. It's usually about $2,500 which really helps make our assessment affordable. Mm-hmm. Um, but every like five years, the MBLC makes a committee to review the formulas and all that jazz. So I'm on that this year. Um, it's like one librarian and then the head of each network. So um, so that's Monday, next Monday, which is April already. And um, so we'll see how that goes. CWMARS is by far the largest recipient of those grants in the state just by virtue of our size and our demographics Mm -hmm. so we get the lion's share of the money so we'll see about that and then i'm also on an mls task force which you know all those surveys that you ever might fill out like online or anything like that like how often do you eat at wendy's or do you get gas yeah whenever so this simply analytics company is where they have all that data like all the data 
Um, and so this MLS task force is ways that we can use their software to figure out stuff that libraries want to know about, like, you know, who can't get to the library because they don't have a car. Um, what's the more difficult stuff than like what's the mean income, but like you know what's the education level, um, all kinds of stuff. Hmm. So and there's a, an all day meeting on that next week in person. We had like an online buzz through thing, which was like too fast, mm -hmm. and now we can play with it, but it's very it's kind of complicated. So mm -hmm. we have an all day meeting next week to play with it. So okay, it's kind of fun. That's good. So we get all the all the data. So that's that. I think that was all I had. It seemed like a lot when you wrote it down. Um, upcoming finance and warrant? April 22nd. April we get 22nd. late. It is yeah, really I think late. I that's emailed right. it to you guys. You did. I, I just wanted to confirm the date. Yeah, it's our next our next trustee meeting and then finance and warrant advisory that night. Oh, fun. Yeah, just double dip. Okay. So, but yeah, it's wicked late. Okay. Do you want all of us at that? No, just the two of us is fine. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing nothing really crazy to, t <laughs> to go over. All right. Um, do we want to do circulation? Yeah, it's not, not a bad month. No? Not a great month, not bad. So, oh, it's just it was kind of slimy weather. It was just so yucky. It was just kind of wet and cold and not a big storm to like stock up for, but delays and stuff. Cold and damp. And yeah. Well. I mean, there's nothing really concerning here. Do you have any concerns about the circulation? Okay. No, I'm making notations. Okay. Let's see. You know, I am one of those people who's good with numbers. Yeah, no, <laughs> I know you are. Dri driving a, a train, no, but a math I can handle as an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to have a couple variables in it, otherwise it doesn't yeah. make sense to me, though. Right. Um, so yeah, so circulation. Anything that uh, the only thing I noticed is um, well, maybe it's not for for young adult books is it just that they're sometimes there's like you know a flurry of new books come out so that it, I notice it kind of goes up and down is there Anything we're missing on our collection, things that we can't buy that we wish we could. Just want to make sure we have everything we want there. Or is it? It really just is variable. It's just kids are weird. Yeah, it no depends on the school assignments too. Okay. And it depends on like if a movie's coming out and then suddenly everybody wants to read that book. Right. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. It's just it's it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Our biggest issue in the YA section is the same issue we have all over the library. Mm -hmm. Then I lost faith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yep. So, okay. Nothing, nothing grossly. Okay. Nope, I'm just asking. Yeah. No, it's a good question, but no. You know. It's hard to make it look inviting when you don't have the space to make it look inviting. Speaking of which, mm. we have been talking about possibly buying a wall mount for the TV in the back. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we were originally just thinking about putting it on the wall where it is. But then mm -hmm. I thought, we could put it over the computers. Mm -hmm. because, and Shan said, you know, we're not usually using the computers when we have the TV on in there. And that would actually let us put the chairs facing, if you were, had a big audience watching the TV, facing that way, which might actually let you get more chairs in. Because mm -hmm. um, the concern was trying to find like a lockable cabinet to put the 
out of all the stuff that's in that cabinet under the TV, we really only need like the DVD player and the Wii, right? Mm-hmm. There's yeah. not much. You have other stuff in there? Yeah. It's, it's just full of random junk. Um, you know, the Wii bits and mm -hmm. I don't even yeah. know what else. So, because that would buy us what, eight, nine, ten square feet of floor space in that room if we just yeah. got rid of that, which is, it's cabinet's broken anyway, it doesn't lock. Okay. So actually, it's, mm -hmm. we don't really need a locking cabinet anyway. Mm -hmm. um, it would just free up a lot of space. We've talked, been talking about, I want to clean in there, mm -hmm. paint it, because mm -hmm. it really needs to be freshened up, but it really needs to be cleaned too, but mm -hmm. cleaned, painted, but getting that whole shebang up right. would make a big difference you in that room, I feel like. Probably mm -hmm. put those other items on a shelf adjacent nearby on the wall yeah and i think because there's already there's a ton of outlets on that strip yeah. anyway so it wouldn't be a problem and that would buy you some space um that that works would the friends be willing to support purchasing that wall mount or yeah i'll see i didn't i didn't actually look and see how much they got i don't think they're too much and they even no, have they're not they're like depending on the size of the tv i mean you're talking like 50 60 bucks for, for an expensive one today. Yeah. Yeah. And the they've TVs gotten have gotten better. so lighter yeah. mm -hmm. that they're not even needing to be anchored very well. Yeah. I mean, right. I would still make sure we hit a stud or yeah. something on that level because we don't want them coming off the wall. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we're trying to think of ways that we can okay. spiff up that room a little bit because it's a little depressing in there. Would you want it on a swing arm so they could turn it and pull it out and spin it around, giving you different uses, or do you want it just flush on the wall? So a flush mount is just cheap, is, is yeah. the cheapest way to go. Yeah. I don't think there's enough room in there that you'd need to. So, and since you're going, the only other thing I was thinking is if you're going a little high so that you're up over those monitors, you might want one that tilts. Oh, that's true. Right. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, that's not like you get a ton, fun, ton of glare in there, so. No. <laughs> I mean, it's in front of a window right now, so. Yeah. <laughs> But it's really dirty, so it kind of cuts down on the glare. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that can, works. We can spitball on ways of jig jiggering that. We got rid of, not got rid of, but tidied up the crayon situation yeah. by sharing them with our colleagues and other libraries who were super excited to get them. Mm -hmm. So we've got that down to a very manageable amount now. Okay. So. I'm slowly but surely melting them. I She's still I melting am. them, and we have a volunteer who's been helping to strip the ones that we had that weren't stripped. So. Oh boy. Um, the project that won't have. Got really cute like Easter egg molds. Cute. Oh. Very cute. Make candles out of them. The colored ones, so now all we have is brown. But whatever. I mean, <laughs> if you're ever drawing a tree, you know that it takes a lot of brown. You need it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, because we had those crammed in the corner of that room too. Poop emojis. Oh, I love that. Boring. Just trying to clean it. Yeah. It's not, they weren't sparking joy anymore? No. <laughs> they were everywhere. There was a ton of them in there. There was some, there's still some in my office, I think. Are there? You got the completed up. ones are in your office. Yeah. Yes. yes. It was a lot of crayons. I mean, I sent gallons of crayons to other libraries. Wow. So. Great. So, yeah. Okay. We're working, that's the project we're working on in our heads. There you go. For now. Well, that's not what you, what you come up with. Um... So budget, looks like we're all on track here. Um, yeah, part-time wages look good. Yeah. And pleasantly surprised. There you go. Um, so you still have a little bit of books, books money left to get us through the end of the year. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm anticipating a hefty magazine bill. Okay. But that we'll be able to pay for, so yeah. Okay. We were talking about that too, that we're doing really good on books this year. Good. Excellent. All right. Um, next page I have is the adulting grant, which just has a few things that have hit it already. Any questions about that? No, and she's got the cooking ones that you bought are enough to get you through mm -hmm. more than one or no? Can we talk about that now? Um, 
the next one won't need to be nearly as large as right. the fifty dollar one. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I bought a thing of wrist click, I might have to buy newer eggs. Let you get those. I can eat them. They're still in the fridge. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not going to feed them to the children. I just need to clean out the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I teach them how to tell if an egg is good or bad. That's worth something, isn't it? That's true. Yeah. No, it's worth that something. Floats, you don't want to eat it. Mm. Eat. That depends when you say good or bad. You know, the egg in the supermarket's over a month old by the time you get it. Right, yeah. we tested them before we cooked with them. I taught them how to t do that. <laughs> Did you have any that floated? No. Oh, good. Well, this time, if you save those ones that we have... Oh, now we'll have ones that float. Oh. That's true. I'll keep them for example purposes. Mm -hmm. I think you need old eggs, too, to make those those fancy French cookies. Yeah, we're not okay. making those. <laughs> <laughs> you eat aged eggs. We're, we're starting small and then working our way up into the more complicated stuff. All right. I've turned too many pages. Stay aid. Good answer. Yeah, we've reached that time of the year when state aid is down to two pages. Yeah. Um, we're okay. Yeah, I anticipate our second award sometime. I'm not sure when. Yeah. to give us a gift we'll take it we've got and we did get a um our annual gift from unibank it's just not reflected in, okay in there great. so that's 2500 oh wow okay um, so that'll be good yep and then we've got at least one check some of the companies that shannon asks for summer reading stuff always just send us money so that's nice I sent you Good. one of them. I forgot what Wilson? it was. was it Wilson, Wilson Language Training, which yeah. I have no idea how we got that. They sent us a nice check, which is weird. And I think I got nice. one from Millbury's Savings Bank. So, nice. so that's actually not doing terrible. I never heard from that other bank that I or sent a letter to. Cornerstone? Cornerstone, yeah. I never heard back from them. So okay. either it's stuck in their process somewhere or they're just yeah. not going to answer us. That's but Yeah, I don't want to put anything down that's going to be reflected in the minutes about which donations or gifts we've received unless I have a complete list so that no one says, well, why didn't you list mine? Yeah, yeah. I was saying there's, there's more money there than looks like it. It just okay. takes time to catch up. Okay. All right. Anything else to report? All right. So next on the agenda is new and old business. Any other New or old business, we have a, a meeting on the calendar for um, April 22nd. Do we want to book a May meeting? Mm -hmm. May is tough. Yeah. May is awesome. Uh, do we, and do we, well, let's see. Do we need a May meeting? Because we have, have we skipped a meeting this year? No, because no, usually we do it in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, do we, if it's really tough. Because the only Monday that we can really do is the 6th, which is pointless because it's two weeks after. Right. right. All right so if you guys want to do a different day, maybe we can do something. <laughs> yeah, so no, let's just, let's just, just. Let's sit on that for a moment. Yeah. yeah. We can, s I mean, it's not like we have anything really crazy. We'll have town meeting, our budget will get approved. You are up for re-election. Yep. Has anyone else pulled papers? Do we know? I don't know. Nobody said anything to me either way. Okay. And I'm assuming I put enough names in because nobody told me I didn't have enough. Okay. All right. I got a phone call after I submitted all of mine saying that it I was, was good. it was all set. Do no, yeah. you want to check in with Laura? I'll check yeah. in. I mean, I, I've had a phone phone call because I forgot to uh, sign one of the copies. Whoops. <laughs> and I went back up and signed it. So, um, okay. We'll check in on that or you can yeah, check in. Yeah, that would 
Just double check it. Yeah. Um, why don't we skip May for now? We can always revisit that, right, mm -hmm. in April. Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe we can just plan something. What's the June? What's the Mondays of June there? The 17th and the 24th. So we could do like. Unless we do an earlier one to combine May and June. She's not here the third, and then we have staff day the tenth. Tenth. So let's let's just tentatively put May uh, June seventeenth on our calendars then for the June meeting. And do you want to keep it at three thirty? Because it's be summer. Because you'll be out school. of school. Yeah, we can move it whenever is convenient for. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, a, uh, I mean. I mean, I could do noon uh, easily or one o'clock easily or for you. I couldn't do noon easily, but 1 or one thirty might work. I can do 1. I mean, I can also still do 3.30. Three. I don't know, whatever works for you guys. Yeah. I'm trying to be flexible is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah, 3.30 is fine. Let's just keep it at 3.30. That seems to work. Okay. Any other new or old business? That we can think of. Mm -hmm. So we have finance warrant, budget submitted, annual report signed, all that stuff's done. There's a grant that I'll need to sign somewhere down the road here. And that's about it. Okay. Does somebody want to, are we all set? I think so. So I will make a motion, make a motion then to adjourn. I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned at 410. Yeah.